Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Three, three, six. You know who that is, don't you? That's the gang, baby. Perish, this shit high, boy. Shotty catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought a two skidder, yeah, we heading for the sun. Shotty got my high, I ain't tripping for the fun. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't tripping, I'm a stun. Oh. As you've seen from the thumbnail and what I'm having in my hands, it is time, J Money. Yep. Let's snorkel that 110. So we've got some ABS piping, not PVC, because PVC don't make black PVC pipes, and I don't really want to paint the white PVC pipes and the yep. way to dry and everything. I just kind of want to get together and go ride it, right? Yep. So we got ABS piping, okay. and he's the guys say that you know it'll work just the same as PVC. I've got two five foot sticks. We got our 45s. We got some 90s and some couplings cement and silicone can you think of anything else we might need to snorkel that 110 a rubber boot maybe rubber boot by what come to the plastic come up out of plastics are we gonna do like the fans wants to do and do the big honda tall snorkel or we're gonna do like the old old school xxc mm -hmm. renegade like the three coming out the middle well if we do the boot we can do both we can change it up all right let's go find a boot hey money i got the coupling yeah can you not carry anything no, I got the camera, dude. Where's Jason? Yeah, but I don't know where Jay Brown's where Jay Brown? at. No. I ha Jay Brown was supposed to be washing the floor, but I don't know if he's getting much of that done. You got the camera one, one, one hand, one hand, one hand is all you got on that camera. I've got 97 pieces of snorkel 110 Renegade. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's go. Jay Money. Dude. That's better than your Defender, bro. Look at that. You could trade that in. And come out on the big end. Yeah, you can come out on the big, big end. Big, big, yep. yeah. yeah. It's probably faster than my North Star, I had to guess. <laughs> All right, let's get to the house. Start putting this thing on. We'll pick you guys up in just a minute. All right, Jay Money, hopefully, hopefully, Jay Brown has something done. We told him to wash it, start disassembling it. You never can tell. Though. It's Jason we're talking about. Let's right. go in here and see what's going on. I mean, are you serious right now? Oh, no. Jay Brown, get, get up. What are you doing? Cam, what are y'all, big Cam, what are y'all doing? Are you just taking a break? What y'all doing? Right this is what? It's washed, but why ain't it tore apart? You know what we're doing? This is a video. What are you doing? I guess it's me and you again, Jay Money. As always. Me? You weren't even there to film today while we was buying stuff. What did you, did you do anything? I was taking a nap. <laughs> Big Cam, what'd you do? I was napping with him. <laughs> all right, I need, I got a lot of stuff to show you. It's all in the truck, so I need you two to go get it, please. We carried the camera in. That's what Jay Money said in the store anyways. It's about time. All you had to do is get a few tools. Hey, you look like, you look like, you look like me coming out of uh, Home Depot. Vamos, <laughs> vamos. Yeah, Y'all know this fuller is oh, not, it's hey, not gonna snorkel itself. Are we gonna cut? Yeah, we're gonna cut fenders off like kind of Ronnie Mac style. We got ABS piping and we got 10 foot of it, me and Jay Money. Five foot stick and a five foot stick. We've got like one of every couple, and actually two of every couple they make, all kind of stuff to make this thing right. And for you actually, because we want you to take this to a pond when we get snorkeled. Think you can handle that? I think I got it. I don't know if I want to put the smaller tires back on it because I don't know if this will pull these in that pond with you on it. Because we don't have a smaller sprocket yet or a bigger sprocket, whatever you gotta have to, you know, lower your gear reduction for the forward to pull these big tires. So you might have to get a run and start. And you might, yeah, you might have to get a run and start to try to skim or something. I don't know. We'll have to just figure it out. But if we get it snorkeled, it holds, you know, holds air and stuff like that. It won't leak water and stuff. It's already ten times better than your Honda. Well, your old Honda. That's not funny. All right, P. All right, P. First things first. Obviously, you gotta take the seat off to get to the air box. So. You need to dry that. It's wet. Yeah, it's probably should. Only supposed to take a nap. Probably should dry this stuff, but it's no surprise at this point. So we're gonna crack to the air box. Oh, that was tight. That is not like a normal four wheeler filter. What is it? Look like a cone. That's like that's like a Briggs and Stratton type deal. It's not a Briggs and Stratton motor though. No, it's, it's can and motor. What's in there? Pull out. Oh, a little what? screen. The oh, we got all kinds of room. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. bro. It's we already got a. 
Oh, that's for that's for that. It's already run to the airbox. So what? Just run it from there up. There up. Straight up. So you straddle it when you're riding it. He could run up the side or air side snork. <laughs> side snork. <laughs> so Jay Money, I know to get the snorkel routed to the front, yeah. we're gonna have to take all these shrouds off. We pop these things loose, and I'm pretty sure we can get to the side of the air box here, drill a hole here, and run our snorkel that way and come up right through the middle. Sound good with you, Jay Brown? Sounds good with me. I mean, unless you want to run out the back fender here or right here at the back or something. No, we're going to keep it in front. You want it in the front? Yeah. Yeah, be wanting to be in a water woods and you put it in the, the rear. They got little bolts hidden everywhere on the thing. I mean, it's... I wish they'd do this to the 1000s instead of pop rivets. Or whatever those push pins are called. These right here. 10 millimeter socket, a Milwaukee electric ratchet, and 10 millimeter bolts. Why don't we do the 1000s like that, Jay Money? It'd be way easier if I did. Well, that's the side shroud out. That's pretty open there. But you got you got to be kidding me. That's got to be somehow come off there because that little hole, I don't think we're fitting all over his handlebars. So I don't think it's going to work. I may, I may be getting something. You may, you may be getting something there. Pop all the front end off. It might yeah. just be like a split in the middle. But all right, now look at that. Right there. We can get that out. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. It may slide forward. Yeah, there you go. Slide it forward. There you go. There you look at there. Go. Oh, yeah. Should come off now. Oh, we hung on. Oh, we hung on. There we are. There it is. Now we can ride it like that. Call it like, you know, unknown bike because nobody knows what it is. Naked Gade. Naked Gade. It's Naked Gade, there you go. <laughs> All right, so we took the pipe loose from the intake because there's no way this pipe has come out of this box. It is, uh, I think they pressed that in there and molded it till it won. But we did take it loose, got the, uh, uh, the bracket out of there and hit the box. That's how we're gonna drill our hole, come out the side. Well, you get your Milwaukee drill and your Milwaukee hole dozer and you just... No. I'm just kidding, just, we're gonna line it up perfectly, you know what I'm saying? Let me, let me go ahead and drill the hole and I'll show you in just a second. All right guys, got the hole drilled out. The old hole dozer done really good with this one. Look at this. You know, that thing grabs it the wrong way one time. Yeah, it ripped it out, <laughs> out of your hand and ripped the whole box in half. Now, our plan with this is, we boss a 90 here. Come in and see how it's one and a half on one side and like two on the other, something like that. Come in here like this. Keep it tighter. And keep it tight. And you can silicone it and all that good stuff on the inside. Now you're probably saying, well, Joe, you can't connect the other piece. Well, thank God we bought connectors. Little couplers. Stick that on there, glue it, run your pipe out. You know what I'm saying? This is going to be freaking sick. Yeah. All right, let's throw some glue on it. I've been on the road, I've been doing shows. Now we ain't steak, remember sleeping on the floor. We're still in at the gas station when the time's cold. In the kitchen, hostel, trying to flip it off the stove. Rocking fake J's, praying that nobody knows. Watch him take my dog away, it was way too hard to stay composed. Fight to see the light of day, all this blood on my clothes. I was tired every day, green light, it's time to go. I don't wanna live life fast or die too young. Die too young. 100 miles per hour, I might crash cause a good die young. And the final touch. That's straight. Look at that right there, boys. Look at that right there. Yeah. yeah. A freaking Renegade XXC 110 with a snorkel. Look at this. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure it's all sealed up. We ain't tried it. You know, it's not been tested yet, but I mean, cool. the amount of ABS glue we put on those pipes, I mean, good God, it'd seal the Titanic up. But that hole saw, Milwaukee, you make some freaking awesome tools. Perfect holes, perfect cuts. I know it's still loose, guys, so we don't have it bolted in, but that is straight as an arrow. That's not the tip we're going to use, but that's just for look. That's where we cut it off at for now. For the testing reasons only, like, you know, when we take it in the pond or whatever, we're going to make sure it's at least handlebar deep and it's good to go or somewhere in that area, maybe tank and, you know, whatever. We're just going to make sure it's sealed. I do have this piece left over, so when we decide to go deep, like into a lake or a pond, now just think about that. I mean, you're going to have to wear a snorkel on your helmet, on your goggles, and be like, and then go, you know, go down, give it gas, go back up, get some air, go back down. We're going to keep that just for in case whenever y'all give us some ideas in the comments on where to use this bad boy, whether it be a lake, a pond, maybe even the ocean. Imagine going out riding some waves on a 110. It'd be pretty slick, wouldn't it? Uh, I think it turned out great. That's, I know, people's put big tires on little fours. I feel like now I have people send some in for the Instagram page, but this has got to be the first 110 Renegade with a snorkel on it. It's got to be. And look, you guys picked it. You guys said do the Honda snorkel straight up. I did go through there and tally them up. Some of you said XXC, like come over the handlebars really low in profile like this. And the tally was Honda guys won. I mean, we can do both. Look, it's kind of lean back. It's kind of like a lean back Honda snorkel, but there was like five more people that said do the Honda straight up other than the XXC. 
Still turned out great either way you look at it. I think it looks awesome. That's like perfect height too. I'm ready to ride this thing. Let's get back. Let's go to the store. Let's get vent lines because we got to run all our vent lines. Let's get all of our stuff we need, connectors and stuff for the vent lines, new vent line hoses and stuff to finish this off. And I think we need some zip ties too. Let's go get all that stuff. We'll come back. We'll pick you guys up right when we get this thing finished because we're going to go ride this thing and take it deep, deep. Like big renegade deep, like 1,000 renegade deep. Probably gonna put J Brown on it. Yep. Instead of waiters, since it's cold outside, because you know he'd be like, oh my God, I'm freezing to oh, death. Yeah. yeah. Right, J Brown? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go get some vent lines. We'll pick you guys up when we get done. All right, guys, we got this thing almost wrapped up. We're getting ready to show you guys the final product. Let's go over some things we've done really quick so you guys at home, if you want to know how to do this for yourself, you guys get a Renegade 110, let me tell you. J Money is a pain. It's a two day process. Yeah, a day and a half. It's a bunch of mock up. It's a bunch, yeah, we've done a lot of mock up stuff because. There's no video on YouTube you can go look up and say, how do I snorkel my 110 Renegade XXC? Yeah. I think we've got this in pretty much, this has got to be first, hopefully. Hopefully it works. So, Airbox lid, they come factory with this right here. Hood scoop. Like a little hood scoop, a cow <laughs> induction. Like, a, like on a Mustang or something like that. So, we built us a little plate in there and then screwed it in, siliconed all around it. We told you guys we were running this in here like this. So, it's, it's feeding air into here, through your throttle body and your intake here. And look at this, guys. This is awesome. We kept it so symmetrical all the way in there. All the way to, it's just perfect the way it lies. Seriously. We didn't think it was going to lie that well, but it did. Also, here on these factory ones, they come up out of here and they go all the way down to here and stop. Well, we cut it, put a brass fitting in it, slid this one inch hose all the way in there, ran it up there. The same for this one. And as you see the product, Jay Brown, step back and show these snorkels, please. Look at that. Come on, it is dead center. Turn the wheels just a little bit straight. It is dead center. We even made us a little tip for the top of this thing for our flex hose. Our regular ABS piping is sitting right. Got our boot here. So for you guys at Busco Beach, we're at the 50-50 hole, and you guys will say, oh, that's as deep as you can go. We're gonna keep the other pipe. Yeah, we're gonna keep this one side. and a couple and a back other pipe in the back of a side-by-side, -side, pop this off, put the couple on, and uh, where you wanna go. Where you wanna go. We'll just stick that baby on there and walk it. Now let's hope, let's hope it's actually sealed and it actually works. We're talking all this junk and it right. may not even be sealed. That'd be something, wouldn't it? <laughs> That'd be terrible. We also did some modifications to the air filter. We kind of cut around the lines, you know, squared it off to make it a little smaller. We don't want silicone stuck all the way to it, sit on there just right. Nope. Last thing right here, last touch. Let's put a bead of caulk all the way around this and then sit it back in there. I don't think it's, is it never a good idea to have too much? No. Should have plenty, right? Are you acting like you're welding right now? I am welding. I'm welding with a bead of caulk. Pretty cool. Look how look how slick know, that really? looks though, right? Yeah. That's all. Look at that bead right there, boys. Can't get no better than that. I think this right here will wrap it up completely. Look at that. Boom, baby. Airbox is about to be sealed. I am so pumped for you, Jay Brown, and for myself. What we're going to do is what we're going to try is we're going to try to let him ride this with the snorkels through the pond or through a river, whatever, whatever around you know local here with these tires on it. I want to ride it too, of course, but I can't ride it because I'm a little bit too big for these wheels and tires set up on this 110. So I'm going to put the stocks back on it too, also, and I'm going to ride it after that. But you can ride it with the, with the BKTs on there, Jay Brown. Look cool. That's another deal. You can look cool. I'll just look stupid with many tires. But we can go to Tractor Supply and get those little like tiller tires. Tiller or like a regular. Or they look they look like B, they look like oh, BKTs, yeah. Yeah, but they're just you know <clears throat> they get them super wide ones. Look more like reasonable. <laughs> we got a wide wheel, but yeah, we'll get some of those and put on there so it's kind of better for it. But if this works, you're gonna see us all at Busco. You're gonna see it everywhere we go. We're just gonna switch all to one tens. Oh yeah, I'm selling the one thousands and get all one tens. <laughs> you imagine? You know something, Jay? What's that? These fenders and shrouds are made just like the one thousand. They clip and all kind of good stuff and pain in the butt like the one thousands and everything else. Yeah, well, yeah, but you're over there doing whatever he's doing, so I'll run him in. Yeah. I, think, I don't know if I got it right or not, but you know what? We're going. I just I can't wait no more. You know what I'm saying? I want to see this thing in action. All right, she's put back together. Only thing we're missing now is a seat, but I mean, let that thing right there cure. Let's see, J Money, if it's got any good suction to it. You ready? Oh, we're good. Okay, maybe she's just cold. She ain't been ran in a while. Can you hear that in there? <laughs> All right, let's see what happens here. You ready? She's still pretty good. It, listen, it bogged down a little bit. Listen. Watch the box flex. I don't know if y'all guys can see that, but the little box goes. I mean, it's still like doing all right. I thought it was running a little weird, but. I 
Calvin, she's ready. You ready, Jay Brown? I say ready and I get ready. Let's go get this thing in the pond or the river, whatever kind of mud hole we can find. Stay tuned for this, it's gonna be really good. All right, guys, it is pouring down rain. Thank God, me and you got the Defender. We got Tyler with us, we got Chuck with us. Look at this. We got Jay Brown on the new and improved 110 snorkeled Renegade, baby. You must be dry with that Gator Waiter bog jacket and your Gator Waiter waders. I'm dry, but I'm freezing, boys. <laughs> it's pouring down rain, kind of let off a little bit, though. Why are you shaking so bad? I'm freezing, boys. <laughs> You ready to go test that snorkel out? Let's go do it. I don't really know how deep this pond is. I have no idea. This is the cow pond. And if I'm not mistaken, in the middle it's like six or seven foot deep and we didn't bring the egg tube of pipe, Jay Money. Right. But we have the unit, she's ready. Jay Brown, what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna give it a walk through. I'm gonna give it a walk through. Okay. Chuck and I, <laughs> it's already feeling like it's really sticky, so you may not be able to turn those tires. We may have to put the stocks on just, just for you to ride it. But it's pretty, it's pretty sticky, bud. Hope you don't float in there. What do you mean, hope you don't float? If it floats, I mean, then you can like just ride all around the pond. Right. I don't know if you call this a pond, it's kind of like a, I don't know. A ditch full of water. Ditch full of water, but it's pretty deep. I mean, right here, we're knee deep. You want to pull it in or back it in first? Which one's better? Probably pull in air box yeah, to get wet it. first. So you want to pull it in, see if the air box is good and sealed. And even if it's not, you know, it's just going to cut off right here and then we're screwed, but. Right. Trial and error, baby. Jay Brown, come around here. Look how sticky it is. Oh, this is this is this is this, yeah. this is too much. I'm stressed. This is a brand new Ford. Three hours on it, and we're probably it's a 50-50 shot here. 50-50 hole. That's right. You know what I mean? Come on, Jay Brown. Yeah. Come on in. Right, easy, easy. Easy, easy. Easy, easy. I think we're going to stay on the gas. I don't know. If it, are these meant to be underwater? Uh, I doubt it. Oh, Already, wait a minute. Stop. Look at this though. Look at this. Freaking minigade in a pond. Over 28 right now. And then watch it cuts off right here about five seconds. I don't know how to explain how nervous I am because this is a brand new full water, but Jay Brown, you need to stay in the gas. If it starts floating, you, you're gonna have to save it, but like just ease this way a little bit. Ease this way. Well, your exhaust is about to go underwater, so you need to stay on the gas. Easy. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yes, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You got water? Look at that! What do you look? <laughs> that is freaking nuts. That's you see that little baby water really done? Yes. That dude. My God, bro. She's a bone, baby. Look at. Oh, well, you're sinking. You're sinking. You're in the mud. Don't let off that gas. So easy with it. Easy with it. You need some help. Look at that. I could be the full wheel drive system for this thing. Yo. Put it in reverse so you can back up. See so if you can back up. Stay in the gas though. Stay in the gas. Yeah. Hey, they're off over there in time. Yeah, I'll push, I'll push you. Go ahead. You're good, you're good. Back on up. Chuck, the very first 110 Renegade XXE snorkeled, and it's holding up, and it's not leaking water yet, but it's, it's, it's doing its thing right now. Dave Brown, can you give me a water wheelie? Look at her, boys. Pull them front tires up. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tote the front end, baby. Oh, you better give it gas. Don't let it cut off. <laughs> this ain't sucking, boy. Don't let it, yeah, don't let it cut off. It's hard to turn when it's not full of drive. <laughs> He's burying it now. <laughs> that is freaking sick, boys. That is awesome. Performance ease, you hooked us up with a freaking unit, baby. Hey, how do you think this is for a chain and sprocket? You reckon it's going to have rust on it or just keep it lubricated? Keep it lubricated, boy. <laughs> Yes, sir, Jay Brown. You got your own Renegade, baby. XMR Renegade. Yeah. I don't know what that smoke is for. I don't really know. It's blowing, though. You got your own first XMR Renegade. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Jay Brown, you're lucky you get to ride this thing, and I came with these tires on them. But wait, we just sent Jay Money back to the shop and Tyler to get the old wheels and tires 
and the floorboards. I'm gonna do some playing. Chuck, you wanna play on it too? I think I might have to. Look at this, automatic water wheelie because it's floating on these tires, watch this. <laughs> Look, I, I, I can walk beside it, watch. Sit down on that one. Oh, I got my mouth. This is my mouth. Ah. All right, they're almost back. I just got the text. They're on the way back. Let's get this thing out of the water and uh, let's get those uh, baby tires put on so I can ride it and have some fun. All right, Jay Money, you saved the day by bringing these over here because I want to play them. And I'm a little bit too tall, maybe a little fat, I don't know yet, for these big wheels and tires. Is it coming off? Yep. Oh, there it is. Bam. <laughs> There's your BKT's back. I might keep them though just for my Busco set, you know what I'm saying, Debra? I hear you. These right here, look at these bad boys. This is our drag racing set, you know what I mean? I don't think these are gonna be good in the in the mud bogging industry, but we can try. Yeah, hey, Milwaukee, baby. Gotta keep them on, you keep strapped. Hey, you know, them two tires you can't hold a wide on. Hey, I really feel like I'm on an XMR right now. <laughs> is this not on like an XMR? Without the relocate, you know what I'm right. saying? Like, I feel like I'm on an old school first gen Renegade. There's no relocate, but that could be next. You guys asked for it, we done it. Leave it down in the comments what you want to see next on this thing and I'll do it. I don't care. I'm going to let you guys build this. Well, I did and then I guess we'll have to put the work in unless you guys want to come out to the shop and help us build it. That's that's that, you know, it's on y'all too. You want to see a relocate? You want to see a stack? You want to see what else can we do to this thing? Seriously. Well, we got to do the, we got to do the, 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 the bigger sprocket chain. We got to make it where it's going to pull these tires. But I got the little tires on here now. I bet a lot of people want to see a lift. A lift? Mm -hmm. You know, we can custom we can custom build a lift. We yeah, custom build a motor. But <laughs> I just want to see one time, once you hold my watch, I'm going to see if I can just kind of, you know, kind of half, sen half yeah. send it. Yeah. Half send it. You ready, J. Brown? I'm ready. <laughs> There's a tree over there too. Oh yeah, there is a, there's a yeah. stump right here. I don't want to reach my hand out here. There's freaking water there. <laughs> I can tell we don't have the 28s on there anymore because it's, it's getting a little bit deeper. It's seat deep right now, boys. All right now, you ready now, Jamel? See if we can't lift this thing up. She's wants these tires suck, Jay Money. There it is, there it is, a little water wheelie. Yeah. <laughs> These tires are not good in this stuff. So I did figure something out. It does not like this mud on these little stock tires. These little bitty treads, but that tall. I mean, am I not right? Tractor Supply sells those little, little tiller tires with like BKTs, that, like that, that small. We get some of those and pull me on it and have like BKT tires, but I mean, she floats though, look at what. It's pulling a little, oh, oh, got a wheelie on it. Wrong way though. Put her back in reverse here. I'm gonna try my best to get out of here, Debra. But this, these tires are just bottoming out like that wheel stand though. Oh, look at that water wheelie. Yeah, yeah. That's how I'm gonna walk on them Hondas, you know what I'm saying? With a 110. It goes reverse pretty good, I guess. The weight's back there, watch. <laughs> Till we get some more tires on there, I'm probably gonna have to walk beside her a little bit. But she'll go. She's sealed up though, boys, you know what I mean? She's sealed. Good. She's stuck. She's stuck. Leave her there. Let's go home. Leave it here? Yeah. Alright. I'm telling you, boys, next bounty hole rig right here is going to be the unit to win. What do you think about that, guys? The freaking 110 is snorkeled and it's sealed. Yeah. And we just walked through them ponds. It freaking does water wheelie. Baby Why don't we just sell the 1000s and get all 110s and there's baby water wheelies everywhere? Mini gay for life, baby. Save some money, too. Save right. some money, you're right. 
Guys, drop down in the comments right now. Let us know what you want to see next on this thing. You guys killed it with a snorkel. It worked. We've done our job. Y'all done y'all's job. Drop down now. Let us know what we need to do to this thing. If you like the video, smash the freaking like button. Just make sure you're subscribed and please share it around, guys. We're only going to do cool things from here on out. I'm telling you. We're going to blow you guys' mind. We'll catch you guys on the next video.